within our tissues we have a specialized group of cells called stem cells that are able to expand their own pool but also give rise to all the specialized cells within our tissue and our tissue needed to uh, maintain this ability of producing new specialized cells which is called regeneration so while we know the stem cells and the environment in which the cells reside is critical to this regeneration process, we still lack knowledge of how stem cells undertake the sequential steps that will lead to the tissue to regenerate. We've only had snapshots of these uh, very dynamic processes. And now using the two photon microscope and special transgenic mice, we're able to visualize how stem cells and their progeny and other cell types behave during the regeneration process. The two photon microscope is a microscope that uses uh, near infrared light in order to uh, uh, visualize uh, live tissues because it has the ability to penetrate deeper into the tissue and cause uh, less damage to the tissue. To orient you a little bit, these are hair follicles. Uh, these are structures that sit several micrometers below the surface of the skin. Here you see the hair shaft extending uh, outside on the surface of the skin, and this is the structure that is rooted inside the dermis. The arrows are pointing to uh, divisions, cell divisions that are taking place in real time. First of all, what we showed with this uh, study is uh, the technological advance that is possible. Uh, to visualize uh, how tissue regeneration takes place in a normal uh, physiological environment in a live animal. Furthermore, we found that uh, divisions that take place in the hair follicle during regeneration are uh, in fact regulated, which means certain cells are dividing in certain sp uh, places and in certain orientations. Also, we found that cells within the hair follicle uh, have the ability to reorganize and move directionally uh, to support the uh, organized growth of the hair follicle. And last, we showed that we are able to manipulate the uh, hair follicle and the tissue in order to remove uh, specific cells and uh, visualize what the impact of that removal is to the ability of the tissue to regenerate and repair itself. So the reason why we think this work is very exciting is because it provides for the first time the ability to understand stem cell behavior in real time, non-invasively, in a mammal system such as the mouse. What we think is going to come out of this work, and, and uh, those are already lines of investigation that we are pursuing, is the understanding of the signaling mechanism that governs um, the behaviors that we have been able to characterize. And so while we know that there are important regenerative signals such as WINS or also BMPs that uh, regulate tissue regeneration in the skin as well as in other organs, we still fail to understand which cells and which behaviors are regulated by these signals. And so now using um, genetic approaches combined with our live imaging, we can understand by altering this signaling pathway um, which cells and which behaviors uh, wind and BMP are controlling.